Hi everybody, it's Judy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today I am going to be potting up this silver sword philodendron. So I don't know if you remember me talking about this in one of my videos a few weeks ago, how I accidentally broke off one of the longest branches on my main silver sword philodendron, or I should just call it my mother plant, I suppose, now that it's produced some babies. So I'll just show you that first plant that I've got. So this is my mother plant, my silver sword philodendron, and it had several plants growing up the pole and it was getting kind of unruly so I was trying to rearrange it and then tie it up and then like untangle it and then tie it up even better but in the process I accidentally broke off one of the largest vines I just broke it off at the base and I was like oh no but not to worry I propagated that I chopped it at the nodes and have been propagating it in this vessel here for about mm, let's say like maybe four weeks now almost a month so i'll just show you really quickly what the roots look like so they've grown some really nice roots look at that i'm dripping water everywhere so there are some really lovely healthy roots growing on there as you can see um, some of them took off and some of them didn't but overall there's a really nice mass and system of roots there. There's even a new leaf coming out there too, so how cute is that? So what I'm going to be doing in today's video is I'm going to be popping all of these cuttings into this pot and I'm also going to train it to grow up this moss pole. I suppose I'll just better to show you than talk about it, isn't it? this moss pole myself. I made it out of chicken wire and sphagnum moss. I made it a little while back so it's nice and dry right now but I'm, after I finish this video I'm gonna pop this in the shower and give it a really super good drenching but I didn't want to wet it otherwise it'll be dripping everywhere and be really super heavy while I was trying to make this video. So I actually created this moss pole inspired by Craig Milran. I'll leave his Instagram linked down below and where he just shows you how to make it. But it's pretty simple um, to make one of these. I'll just get on with it, I suppose. And hopefully over time, I'll have a plant that looks like this, but like a lot more full. Because this has two plants at the base growing up the pole. But here I have like, how many? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least 10 cuttings here. So it'll be a very, very full plant over time. So what I'm just gonna do, I just use pre-mixed uh, potting mix because I'm not one of those people who has time to mix soil. It's just easier for me to buy the pre-made stuff. So I'm just gonna pop some soil at the base, just a little bit there. Then I'll pop this moss pole in the center. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. <laughs> and pop some more soil around the base. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And this will kind of like help stabilize the pole in the pot, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere from like side to side. A bit more soil, We're almost there. There we go. And now I'm just going to plant these cuttings around the base of this pole. And then as they grow bigger, I will tie them up to the pole and then it'll just start to grow up the pole. And hopefully within time, I'll have a really, really big plant. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I didn't get a big enough pot, but here we are. So I'm gonna bring the camera in closer and then just show you guys what I'm doing, I suppose. So I'm just going to pop these cuttings like around the base of the pole. Just do a little ring around the rosy maypole type action. <laughs> Ooh, that's got some really nice roots on there. So I don't know if I'll be staking all of these plants up to the pole. Maybe I'll stake some to the pole and let some hang over the edge of the pot. We'll see. We'll see how this plant grows up to be, what kind of plant he grows up to be. 
what kind of personality he's gonna have. I'm just kind of positioning the cuttings for now. The lucky thing with these stems is are they are quite like thick and chunky stems. They're not thin and delicate. So you can kind of like press them into the soil without damaging the stem. And now what I'm gonna do, now that I've popped all those cuttings is I'm gonna backfill the rest of the pot because I didn't fill the soil all the way up to the top. Making a really big mess in my dining room in the process. That's okay. Might use my hands for some of this. mess in the process but there we go there's a very quick and easy potting um, over time this is going to start growing big and lush and when it starts to grow a bit taller I'm going to tie it to the pole and then it'll go keep growing up and the beautiful thing about this pole is that oh it's too tall you can extend it from the top there as well so you can keep growing up and up and up the longer it goes. So hopefully these cuttings take to the soil, which I think they will. They've got some pretty good root systems already developed. So it's just a matter of time now for them to start growing up this pole and train it to grow up this. I'm gonna give it a really good drenching in my shower now, but yeah, that's that's it for this video. It's just nice to get my hands dirty. Pot this, I've been meaning to pot this up, but I've been waiting for a time where I could film it and make it into a video for you guys. So if you were needing a bit of motivation, maybe to get some cuttings potted up or to do a bit of plant chores, then hopefully this video was helpful for you to motivate you to do that or even just to watch and enjoy. So I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you. It is growing so, so fast and I can't believe it. I'm just so happy, so beyond happy. And thank you for all the kind comments from everyone and for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Let's enjoy the growth of this. I will be sure to update on this plant in a future video sometime. Maybe when I update on some propagations that I've done in a previous video. So yeah, thanks guys for watching it. It was a nice, quick, easy video today. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video.